Glad to welcome for the first time to our studios here, Mr. Jimmy Rankin. Morning, Jimmy. Good morning to you. How are you? Well, uh, I just came from BT, right. and uh, I'd been there since uh, 6.30, so, and I've been up real early. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm coming around. Uh, you got two shows, three shows going on the next couple of days. Uh, tonight, uh, or tomorrow, you're going to be in Red Deer, and then starting Sunday uh, in Calgary. Yeah, three shows at the Iron, is it the Iron Horse? Uh, the Ironwood stage. Ironwood, yeah, yeah. I've been there before, yeah. I'm doing three shows, a uh, matinee, uh, an evening show, and then the next day I do an evening show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I think there either, I think there t- might be some tickets left for the matinee. I'm not sure. Awesome. Uh, Albert has been pretty good to you, hey? Uh, yeah, man, I've been coming out here for a long time, and I've toured, I've played in a lot of little places all over Alberta, and uh, I have a really good following out here, and yeah. I did uh, a date or two before I, I went up to Northwest Territories, so I was out in Fort, Sus- Fort Saskatchewan. Uh, no, that was that Saskatchewan, that's, yep. that's Alberta, that's just outside Edmonton. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I love it here. It's, I have a, 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 a lot of fans going back to the days when I was touring and making records with uh, my siblings, the Rankin family. Mm-hmm. I think your first solo song, right, followed her around. Yeah, that yeah. was such a cool video. Yeah, that's uh, that was my first solo CD. And I can't believe it's 2001 that was released, and wow. that was the single that came out off that record. And uh, I shot that uh, video for that. Uh, in an exotic dancing locale in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. And people still come up to me after all those years and say, hey, man, uh, I've been to Ralph's. (laughs) All over the country, people come up and say, man, I've been there. (laughs) And that was like a one-shot kind of a deal, right? Yeah, it was was one of the most fun videos I've shot. Uh, It was just really well done. We had a good crew, and they were really great at that that uh, bar. It was what, pretty much one continual shot of a camera guy following me through the uh, the bar. And uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't watched it in a long time. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to see how <laughs> young I looked. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun video and, and people still still watch it. And the song did really well yeah. too. It was uh, it was sort of Americana. It, it got played on country radio a lot, so it did well. And it it I got SoCan Awards for that song. And, yeah. Yeah, and it, it was sort of the song that relaunched me back into the music industry as, as a solo artist coming off the Rankin uh, career. So, yeah. What was that transition like going from the Rankin family to solo work? Uh, very interesting. You know, I... I uh, it was all new to me, uh, you know, not the business and everything and performing and all that, but I never really carried a full show by myself on that level. And uh, I had to learn how to do that and, you know, front a, a band, uh, you know, in, in this arena because I was always one of four vocalists and one of five uh, members of that Rankin family band. So with my solo, uh, even making the record, you know, I... I really didn't have anybody to rely on for advice other than the great team I worked with in Toronto making the record, Tim Thorny and his gang of uh, people. But um, it was a learning experience. I and mean, that's 18, 17, 18 years ago. Mm. And uh, just coming off the Rankin thing and going out solo, I had fans follow me from the Rankin days, but I basically had to build another career and a whole new uh, a bunch of fans, but uh, it's been good. Here I am, all these years later, with a new CD called yeah. "Moving East," and uh, "Moving East." I recorded uh, this year with uh, in in uh, Nova Scotia in Dartmouth, right across the harbor from Halifax, with Joel Plaskett, and uh, it's the first full length recording I've ever made in Nova Scotia and it's uh, sort of an East Coast folk rock country record and uh, very much inspired by all of the things that inspired me growing up in that part of the world all the music and stories and I've got everything on there from bagpipes to uh, all acoustic instruments mandolins, banjos um, uh, bagpipes and uh, and I got Ashley McIsaac on there uh, 
playing uh, some real traditional style fiddle music, very lo-fi. So it's a very cool record for me, and it features all East Coast musicians. Awesome. We got uh, Jimmy Rankin joining CJWE. Jimmy, what inspires you to write music? I just keep my eyes and ears open, and I'm, I'm a creative person to begin with. Um, so I'm always thinking about whatever I, uh, is around me and whatever whatever is going on in my brain but I'm constantly looking for ideas and you know as an artist it's hard to explain but you you just get inspired by your environment and uh, so I I what I do is I write songs and I think about it constantly whether I do it every day I'm sort of making mental notes and jotting little ideas down in a in a scrapbook or a notepad or and and melodic ideas in my iPhone and and uh, but this record uh, moving east I it was very much inspired by uh, moving back from Nashville I was there for seven and a half right. years and moving back to Nova Scotia and I wanted to make this record that was uh, you know sort of all acoustic and a reflection of uh, my years spent growing up in Cape Breton and excuse me living in Nova Scotia and the and the the music that inspired me and the stories and the just the culture so um, uh, it was a very focused project and uh, I revisited my old back catalog of, of songs that I hadn't recorded and uh, and uh, songs that were very much about that region but it translates globally yeah, you know it's it's not a uh, it's it's regional in, in the sound and in, in the content but it's you know you can li- anybody can listen to this album anywhere now it's called uh, moving east of Elba right now where can people pick it up well you can find it on my website you can buy it from my store you can find it probably on iTunes uh, it's uh, it's out on vinyl too it's made for vinyl uh, first record I've ever made on released on vinyl it's kind of cool how that's all coming back too right eh? yeah well people are buying vinyl and I have it at at uh, my concerts and people are buying. You awesome. Know, and it's uh, po- people are starting to. I know I am. I want to go out and, and and fire up my old turntable and get my old record collection out again and yeah. start listening to uh, vinyl again, analog because it's uh, kind of nostalgic for me in a way, but also the sound is uh, so different. And uh, I guess people don't realize that, especially people who've never listened to vinyl. But there is a huge difference mm. uh, when you listen to it on a good system and even a, even a crappy system. You know, it, it, it's uh, good and just a process of flipping over a record and, you know, reading the liner notes and right. the, uh, in a nice big um, package like that. So, But it is interesting how people are going back to that and CD sales are kind of uh, have diminished and yeah. going out the window and vinyl. Everything is being released on vinyl now. So, uh, We got Jimmy Rankin joining CJWE this morning. What's the music scene in, in, in uh, the East Coast like right now? Is it pretty good? I'm just getting back and familiar with everybody again. But uh, East Coast has always had an incredible uh, music uh, depth to it. And uh, there's every genre of music being played and and all kinds of great musicians and uh, great writers there. And uh, so it's very vibrant there. And the music uh, industry or the music scene anywhere has always been tough. And it's tough to make a living and it's tough to break out. And I think even more so these days because there's so much music out there. But uh, there's always been great music coming out of the East Coast, whether it's singer-songwriters or jazz or blues or country. And I think there always will be. Uh, Jimmy Rankin, of course, is going to be in Red Deer tomorrow night at the Elks Lodge. Uh, Sunday, two shows at Ironwood Stage, and then Monday at Iron- Ironwood Stage again. Tickets at uh, jimmyrankin.com slash tour. Uh, always great to see you, Jimmy, and thank you so much for coming in. Great to be here, and uh, I'll see you again. You betcha, my friend. Uh, by the way, before we go, one of my favorite songs of yours, as we were just talking about, was Cool Car. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that song. Cool Car. Um I actually co-wrote that with uh, Patricia Conroy and the uh, Moffat brothers, Bob oh, and Clint. Yeah. We co- co-wrote that in Nashville. And, uh, uh, yeah, it was a song that was released to radio. It was, um, and I shot a really uh, 
awesome video for that. Yes, in, it was. Uh, <laughs> in, in California. I wanted to shoot it in Cape Breton on the Cabot Trail, but it was January. It was just too darn cold. So we wound up in California on the, on the Big Sur Highway, the coastal highway there. And and I wanted to do, because it was such a cool song, I wanted to uh, make sort of a car commercial song. And so I, I got to drive up and down that highway uh, for several days in a beautiful, beautiful uh, Porsche 911 with a beautiful young model sitting next to me. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I was living the dream for a couple of days. <laughs> Did you guys keep the car? Uh, uh, oh, no. No? Uh, but I got to drive it. <laughs> a lucky guy. Good to see you, man. You too, man. I'll see you again. Here's Jimmy Rankin on CJWA. I got a cool 